Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1965 Mustang Fastback. This one here has got the 5.0 fuel injection motor. It's also got an aluminum radiator power steering, front disc brakes, aftermarket American racing wheels, dual exhaust, and a five-speed transmission. We did a walk around, pointing out any kind of flaws on the paint, undercarriage, and interior. I want you to check that out. I'll link it to the last 30 seconds of this video. And visit us at maplemotors.com. You can get finance options, shipping options, and see all of our current inventory. We update every Monday. That's your best chance to pick a car up from us. So if you like the music, that's me and my band playing. You can check it out, Southgate Production. It's about that time, guys. Let's go for a ride. Okay, guys, before we take off, gonna check out the interior. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think that horn works? A little game we like to play on this channel. Like I said, it does have the five-speed transmission. Aftermarket gauges were installed on this car. You look across the dash, it does have some blemishes see how it's kind of peeling up over there in the corner same with the carpet back here where they cut it out probably for this transmission e-brake seems to be holding good i checked it out earlier we got kicker speakers in the floor vintage ac kit has been added to this car and is in here but it's not properly working it does blow but i couldn't get the actual ac to cut on so that's going to need a little bit of maintenance the seats are in great shape as well as the back seat you got some kickers in your package tray there's one wire that I left unhooked and that goes to the radio. The radio does work. Headliner is in great shape. I'm gonna go ahead and start this one up. Check out some of the gauges. You look across the gauges here, oil pressure's up, gas gauge is up, tack is working. Temperature's working as well as the bolts. I couldn't get the windshield wipers to work. I think the switch is broken. It feels like it's loose. Actually, uh, if I tighten that right there, I believe they may cut on. I need to go get a screwdriver for this video. But if you're interested in the car, we'll check that out and see if we can get that working for you. All right, guys, go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We'll be trying that out. <laughs> it does. Works good. Okay, let's take off down the road. Okay, getting ready to take off here. I notice it's got some nice seat belts in it. Start it up here. Starts up nice and easy. Just try not to hit that pull it out a lot. Anything I see that is wrong with this car, I will let you know. That's why I make these videos. Checking our brakes before we pull out. They are working. So I'm riding down the road, the speedometer is coming up and working. The car is going straight as an arrow down the road. It's not pulling to the left or right. The steering's nice and tight. Go ahead and try to put her in fifth gear here. Just smooth. The only thing that I notice, I hear a lot of road noise. Turn signals are popping up on the dash, and they are flashing. The heater's definitely working. It's a cold day today. It's 40 degrees, so. Sounds like I hear a little bit of a power steering line. Over here and head on over to 
our spot. cruise on around here all right guys so i'm gonna pull in this parking lot over here we're gonna get some outside shots also some undercarriage shots and we'll continue this test drive video if you want to see what i use look below in the description i have amazon links for everything all right guys let's get these shots Okay, got y'all on the head cam. Uh, we're in the parking lot right now. Engine temperature is right at 200. It's kind of typical for the 5.0s to run a little bit warmer, 200, 210. But it will pull right back down. Uh, I've seen it go up and down a couple times. Been watching that gauge. Oil pressure's right around 30. Get my seat belt back on and we can take off here. Okay. So our emergency brake does work. Now we're rolling. It's actually pulled it back down to 190 already before we even left. So it is keeping it cool. A little squeaky on the brakes. nice and smooth like I said I hear some road noise you kind of feel the road through these big wheels gear you can jump up on the interstate in this car it's easily cruising in second at uh, 30 mile an hour just kind of hoping this guy wouldn't turn on this road I usually like to get on it a little bit we will let him get a little bit of distance Hopefully nobody comes up behind us. Okay, this road also has a speed bump. We'll give it a rating on suspension. Speed bump's 
speed bumps right here. I'd have to give it, uh, on suspension wise, a six out of 10. Looks like we got a shipping truck right out front there. So we're right around the corner from the car lot. Gonna be heading back and grabbing one more vehicle for today. We'll keep these videos rolling to you. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see if we can get in here. They have got me all. Look at that. We did it. Good deal. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this pretty much daily. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 pictures of every car inside, out, and underneath. Also, I have financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. And if you like the music, always go on over to Southgate Production. I write those songs with me and my band. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. I want to thank you in advance for sharing these videos. It helps us out greatly. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later, guys.